I remember to unmute my my uh, my episode this microphone my microphone this episode. Hi everyone, welcome back to a very rainy. Uh, what is today? Monday? Tuesday? Monday? Um, in Animal Crossing, uh, my inventory is very full because we went diving in the last episode and I didn't do anything with that. I had planned to spend today kind of getting my flowers together, but um, I'm not sure that I want to do that in the pouring rain. Um, <laughs> looks like the rainy season is about to wrap up. Once it's over, the summer sky will open up and it'll start getting hot, hot, hot. Um, yeah, that uh, is currently happening where I live. Um, I mean, so I live in Colorado, um, and I think we just had our rainiest June on record, like, ever, I think. Well, I mean, ever, since we started taking measurements, I guess. Um, which was great. Um, I really like the rain. Um, and it's not unusual, it's not unusual, no, uh, it's not unusual to get, like, an afternoon thunderstorm where we are. Generally, it'll be, like, sunny for most of the day, and then clouds will roll over. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. Um, the clouds will roll over, and then maybe you'll have a thunderstorm, and then maybe it'll clear out, um, and by the time sunset, maybe not. Um, but I love the weather in Colorado, it's great. Um, aside from the winter, but, <laughs> um, uh, anyways, yeah, so, um, but there were, like, many days where, like, a couple times in June, this, and even in May, where it was just, like, days of cloudy and rainy, which is kind of unusual for Colorado. I know it's not for other places, but... All right, uh, I have a lot to sell as well. I guess I could take the wetsuit off. I'm feeling, I'm feeling more high energy. I, I, um, <clears throat> I'm working on a um, a large project right now. Um, for um, it's a video on Blade Runner, and uh, I, <sighs> I had to stop working on it for a while because the way I got footage was using my laptop. I don't want to, like, go too in-depth, because, uh, legality issues, but, um, but, I mean, I own the movie, and I'm using it in a review, so it's not like I'm, it's not like I ripped the entire movie. I'm literally just taking scenes, but anyways, um, regardless, um, my laptop, a few weeks ago, I guess, um, just, like, stopped working, um, it wouldn't charge, and it wouldn't turn on, and I was like, fuck, um, but this was just before my parents left, and I was gonna be on my own with my dog, so I was kinda busy, and I was like, I wasn't working on the video anyway, so I just kinda, like, put it off, um, there was one day that I was like, alright, I'm gonna figure this out, and if I don't, I'm gonna take it to, to wherever and get it fixed, um, and, uh, turns out, uh, that I went downstairs and I was like, I had planned to open it up, but, um, oh, also it's July, so there's new, uh, a lot of new bugs, I think, coming out in July, including this thing right here, which is kind of annoying to get sometimes, this is a, ah, got it, okay, um, diving beetle, I was gonna say pond skater, but I didn't think that was right. Um, anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my laptop. So, I was just like, before I open it up, let me just plug it in and see if it works. And lo and behold, it worked. Um, so, um, that was encouraging, and I, I, I've spent the last couple days working on my video, and I've made more progress on that now, probably, than in, like, the past, I don't know, like, at least month or two <laughs> combined. Um... Maybe that's not true, but, um, uh, so it feels good to, like, have a creative outlet like that to, to work on. Um, I'm trying to decide. I feel like the diving suit probably could be put in the, um, in the thing there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it in my, in my letters. Um, I also think I need to go to the post office. But, yeah. Um, 
got a letter. I figured it would be the one from Red, which I think I don't have a spot in here. Okay, never mind. I will go to the post office. Maybe we'll go shopping first this episode. Two new bugs right here also. Speaking of new bugs, kind of, that one I missed. Um, but July is when the cicadas come out, and there are like, I'd say there's like five or six different types of cicadas. Um, uh, and there's also a cicada shell. Um, so, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna blow my nose real quick as we talk to Peck. I say some people just can't get enough of rainy days. Are you one of those people? I, okay. I like a rainy day, and back in, like, high school and stuff, I really enjoyed, if, if you told me it was going to rain for a week straight, I'd be like, nice. Um, but nowadays, I feel like I need the sun. Bring me some fruit, would you? Okay. Um, yeah, I, I realized that about myself this, this past spring, when it was raining a lot for, like, days, and I was like, you know what? Oh my god, you stupid cat. Um, I was like, yeah, I, I need to, to see some, some sunshine. Not every day necessarily, but like, I don't know. They say in Colorado we get 300 days of sunshine, like even if it does eventually like cloud up or something and rain, like you'll get sun at least part of the day. And I think having grown up here my entire life, it just, it's kind of grown to be <laughs> part of part of who I am. I enjoy the sunshine. Yum, what did he say? Yum, yum, something like that. Ranch tea table. Thank you, Peck. At least I know I can count on you. Well, thanks. Hi, kitty. My instinct again was to say Tammy, but I caught myself. Doesn't all this rain bother you? I feel like running r running indoors and waiting it out. That's the thing. Normally in Colorado, when it rains like this, it lasts like five minutes, and then it's done. <laughs> but I either that or it'll turn to hail. <laughs> but again, hail usually doesn't last too long. I'd like to come over later to see uh, what time? 3.09 right now? Anytime after 4. Uh, no, sorry, I don't think I'll be playing that long. Maybe I will, but probably not. I have other things I need to do today. Um, <laughs> okay, no, I don't need to do them. I want to go to the liquor store, um, and I want to walk my dogs one more time. The dog thing is more of a need than my liquor store, but the, uh... Robust cicada. They're pretty docile on rainy days. Huh. Do they only come out on rainy days? Or is that a different... Um... Is that a different message? I don't know. Um... That was something that I really liked about... Sorry, this is a tangent. I'm, like, going all over the place this episode, but... That's kind of how my mind is. Um... It's something I really liked about Tears of the Kingdom. Or like about Tears of the Kingdom. Whoops. Um, is, uh, the fact that, like, NPCs have different dialogue for, based on, like, different circumstances that you've done or are going on in the game, I guess. Like, they might comment on, like, there's this one dude at one of the stables who talks about the Master Gourd. Fuck. I knew I fucked that up. Um, he talks about the Master Gourd, but then you can go talk to him after you get the Master Sword back, and he'll be like, um, Master Sword? Pfft, sounds pretty lame, dude. I'm still looking for the Master Gourd, <laughs> but, and, and stuff like, I, I just noticed something last, last night, there was a character in one of the villages that was like, oh, I need to get this thing for my dad, um, and it was raining in the game, and he was like, I won't let the rain stop me, and I was like, I mean, it's just so, something like, so little like that, but like, I love little, little like, dialogue stuff like that in game, in games, so if that is one for the robust cicada, I'd I didn't know about it, and I think it's cool. Either that or the ro uh, robust cicada probably only comes out on rainy days. Lobo wants to talk to me. I got a me gungoid because it was raining last episode as well. 
Whoa, 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 what's this? You're into the fine art of the robust cicada, too? I've been on the hunt for so long. I'd love to give you a ton of cash for your stash, but I'm sure I don't have enough. Yeah, no, I'm not trading a shirt for this. If I, if you had asked for the brown cicada, I probably would have given it to you, but I'm not sure how rare the robust one is. I'm just saying no to all of my villagers today. The dare program really got me, I guess. Hmm, all right, I'm gonna, uh, oh, well, here's, a. Uh, I know your name, Piper. Again, I wanted to call her Twiggy for some reason. That's not Twiggy. All this rain is making me feel like a total, like I'm totally circling the drain. Make it stop, Patrick. I wish I could control the weather. Pete's super busy making deliveries today. Is Pete around? Pete, I, I think we run into Pete once or twice. I think he comes out when he goes and delivers mail, which I think is at nine and five. It might be nine and four. Or possibly nine and three, since he seems to be out here right now. But, all right, let's stop by the roost, and I think we'll actually... I think we stopped in and got um, a coffee inside last time, too, but... Ooh, Cap'n's here. Aye, that be you, lad. Men lead by example, you know. That should be a motto, uh, the motto you follow. You should follow. Sorry, butchered that. Speaking of ca of uh, dialogue that changes, Cap'n is actually one of them. Uh, he'll talk to to male characters a lot more like that, like oh, be strong, and you know, a lot of his songs will be about like girls and stuff like that. Um, but then he gets kind of, I don't I don't know because I've never really played as a female character, um, but I've heard his dialogue gets like slightly more. I don't want to say like flirtatious, but like. I, I don't know. It, it's just different. He doesn't, he won't obviously say the shit about like men lead by example, I think. I get really excited for rainy days. Uh, even this bean brew tastes extra special today. Yar, that right, Brewster? I pride myself on consistency. That's why you be a pro. <laughs> um, yeah, Kappa probably would. I guess I could talk, I don't know that I talked about this, but, um, Kappen is a kappa, which is a mythological Japanese um, being? Demon? I don't know. Um, I don't know much about them, but I know that they are amphibious, and I think they have an affinity for stealing children, so, you know. <laughs> I don't think Kappen steals children. What would I give to have that much hair on me head? <laughs> Alright, let's get our cup here. We'll... Have some coffee with with Cap'n. Something I've noticed, I usually just go with the um, one of the default thumbnail selections from YouTube. But um, I've noticed that it if you when maybe you have too, because I think I've used a lot of them, um, just because the alternates weren't that great. But um, it suggests a lot of times it'll suggest this shot a lot of me holding up the coffee cup. Um, and, uh, and it would also suggest going into either, uh, Brewster or TI, or, like, the Nookling store a lot. So, it's, it's interesting what it points out. I think it might, maybe, I'm guessing it's looking for rule of thirds, maybe, but I don't know. Drinking hot, hot coffee on purpose on a hot day. Yar, that'd be what makes us men, you know? <laughs> hot. Well, it's a rainy day. I think coffee would be cool. Okay, you know what be true, the best beans for bean brew are Blue Mountain. This is important, um, I mean, quote unquote important. Um, eventually, um, we will be able to, uh, I'll just say, keep track of, because whenever you see characters in here, you can talk to them and find out a little bit about how they like their coffee, including, uh, I think there's three things. I think it's uh, what kind of bean, how much milk, and how much sugar. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, something to keep in mind. I just be like thinking of, uh, I just be liking the name of them. Yeah, they sound, be sounding like a real manly sort of bean. Blue Mountain. I guess so. All right. I think we can head off now. We're starting to get repeats on the dialogues, but that was nice. I was really hoping that we would run into more characters at the roost because you get some cool dialogue out of them. Especially the special characters. Like, I know we ran into uh, KK there once, too. Um, so, it's cool to see those characters. I think Isabel might be able to be there. Um, but, yeah. I have no idea what I did to earn that coupon, but I did. 
I did something. All right, I think I'm gonna look around a little bit uh, and just kind of look for fossils and gyroids um, and villagers. So if I see someone that we haven't talked to yet, I'll stop and talk to them. Uh, but yeah, I guess we could go talk to Mo, but I don't really feel like it. He's dirty, he's stinky. He's not stinky, stinky is an actual cat in this game, but he had a flea on him. Anyways. This might be something that I got on the island already that is just now appearing on the mainland, but I want to be sure. It's a jewel beetle. Yes, okay. Well, now I guess I can point that out. Um, I said it in the last episode too, uh, which was in June, so not yet July, but um, a lot of the bugs that you find on the island will start appearing in your town in the summer, which is kind of nice. I still think that their spawn rate is better on the island, so um, if you're really like grinding for bells, you should probably just still go to the island, but uh, it's, uh, it's, you might just find them in your town and they're, they're worth selling. Ah, okay. I thought that might be what that was. Where'd it go? Okay. Um, occasionally, oops, you will see uh, leave, leaves on the ground that look like uh, furniture items, but they're not. They're walking leaves. These also, I guess, appear in July. So, Like I said, a lot of new bugs appear in July. Why is it always the flowers that you just want to quickly trample that never die and then you accidentally run out of her, like one of your favorites and it's like, poof, I'm dead instantly. Well, okay, these are two of the same cicada here. Uh, oh, thought I might have been a little too far on that one again. A giant cicada. Scratch that. A giant wet cicada. Okay, yeah, they must change the, the dialogue. Unless, again, unless these cicadas only come out when it's raining, but... Alright, I'm gonna commit eco-terrorism here and release the flea back into, um, into society. Into society? Into the ecosystem. <laughs> that sounds better. Alright, I made a quick trip over to the museum just to get a lot of this stuff out of my inventory, and we did actually have a new fossil to donate. We got the Pachiosaurus skull, so that's cool. I just thought I'd point that out. <clears throat> so this is also something I like doing. Um, I, I know I have the, uh, the balloon room over here, which I probably could do, uh, do more with. Uh, I think I have some balloon items that I could put up in there, but um, I also, uh, once I start getting a decent amount of uh, gyroids, um, I like to start putting them up in the exhibit halls too. Um, just because it, it uh, I believe, not that I've played a ton of the past games before this one, but um, I believe there was, I think Brewster used to have gyroid storage, um, so you could kind of like catalog your gy uh, your gyroids, but there's no such thing in, in this game. And while there is plenty of storage, um, I mean, really there is plenty of storage, because uh, there's a storage upgrade that I still haven't gotten yet, because I have not been focusing on house upgrades, but, um, but... There is a lot of storage in this game that happened particularly after um, Welcome Amiibo. Um, but, you know, I I don't know. I like to see my gyroids too. Um, so I'm just going to start putting them up here. Eventually I'll probably start 
getting them in some sort of order if I notice um, that there's uh, a lot that like look like they should go together if they're in their same set or whatever. So yeah, uh, I'm going to spend some time doing this right now, uh, but I'm not going to make you watch that. Case in point, I just realized that I have a squat dingloid and a mega dingloid, so I'm going to try and like put them together. All right, this is the collection as it stands right now. Um, I don't remember really any of these. These are the dingoids. This is the harmonoid. Um, I, yeah, pff, I don't remember what the rest of them are. I kind of like this one at the end, though. It kind of look, just looks like a regular gyroid. But, um, I do have a favorite gyroid, um, and it's... It's probably a lot of people's favorites, but it's the Poltergoid, um, just because they look spooky um, and they they make weird sounds. So, yeah. But there's a lot. There's like there's like robot ones. I think I even had one of the robot ones in there. And um, they're based on. I'm gonna get all of this totally wrong. I think they're called Haniwa, uh, which were like Japanese like burial relics. I think. Um, so, cool stuff. Kind of makes you question why they're in your town and why they come up when it's raining, but or after it's rained, I guess. Um, all right, I have been not making any money because I've been spending a lot of money on furniture, but I do want to keep buying KK songs. Uh, uh, ooh, I have a bird bath very similar to that in my backyard. Um, I might have that already. I'm not sure. Okay. This is usually the point where I start going through my catalog and, like, checking off, like, okay, do I have the lovely wardrobe or whatever it is? Do I have the sleek clock? Um, but that's just because I'm stupid. I don't have the lovely thing. Do I have the sleek thing? Mm, no. I only have a sleek sofa. Okay, fine. Twist my arm more. I'll buy your dang clock. And your pink wardrobe thing. And probably the guitar, too. Um, I don't know that I've had any musical instruments in my house. This is specifically a country guitar. Um, lovely armoire. I believe that's how you say that. time. I didn't go to the post office. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, we do have a new KK song here, so we can plug that in. This is KK Folk. Maybe not what you were thinking of folk music if you're American, but Very much Japanese folk music. Not bad. Uh, I still prefer KK Ballad. KK Ballad's my jam. At least right now. I also like, you could just see that on the floor there, but when it's uh, a thunderstorm, uh, like it's like it is, you can see the lightning actually lights up the floor or the, the house a little bit. Um, so, neat little detail there. I blew it. I blew it. You blew it! Alright, Mel, I've ignored you for long enough. How are you? What if it never stops raining? But Tammy left something at my place. Okay, it's almost snack time. It's 3.30, it pretty much is snack time. I don't... Have I eaten anything today? I don't think I have. See, that's my issue. I get really into, like, working on shit, and I'll be like, I'll, I'll eat later, and then I just never eat. That's not true. Then, I get really hungry at dinner, so I eat dinner, and then I just don't stop eating this. <laughs> Kitty? What's up? What are the same old shopping routine? How about we spice up things with the trade? Your barbel steed for my pe pep squad tank. Sure. Are you giving me your cheerleading outfit? 
I mean, I know I'm wearing a lot of pink, but really spiced things up. This is if this is what I think it is. Okay, yeah, it's it's pretty much a cheerleading shirt. <laughs> Thanks, kitty. Enjoy the enjoy the fish. Cat just scammed me out of my fish. She's gonna eat that for dinner. I'm thinking I'm gonna title this episode Wet Cicadas. And I was just thinking that sounds like a pretty good band name, so if anybody wants to use that, that's up for grabs. As far as I know. Alright, this is Tammy's house here, right? I think I was thinking of Tabby. And I haven't seen Tabby today, but... I'm also kind of giving up. I've searched for a long time for that last fossil, and I can't really find it, so... I've got a delivery from... Who was it from? I can't remember. Somebody. Lobo? Oh, my sunset tank. Darn, I thought it was gone for good, so I bought another one. Shouldn't have been so hasty, but at least I know what happened, kitten. Wow. You're not gonna... Are you going to give me anything? What's new? That mailman, Pete, he looks like he doesn't do any work, but he d but don't be fooled. He even went out of his way to tell me my mailbox is totally stuffed today. He's way more together than he looks, kitten. My mailbox isn't stuffed, but my letter th thing is in my, in my bag. Alright, I think it was Lobo, and I'm assuming that he would give us something if we go and talk to him. And, I, like, that's how it used to be in the GameCube games, I think. Or games, game. Um, it was like you wouldn't get the reward from the person you gave it to. It wasn't, no. It wasn't Mel. Was it Mel? I can't remember. It wasn't you, was it? Um, yeah, it was you. Okay. Did Tammy say anything? Actually. Seriously, Tammy already bought another one? Man, I can't believe I dropped the ball like that. What? I don't get any reward for doing that? The fuck, game? That's lame as shit. I'm never going to do another favor for anyone ever again. Because there's nothing in it for me. Okay, so... I just checked on my loan balance, and it was at 128. And then I realized that I have 68 Meow coupons, and those are worth a good amount of money. So, uh, I'm going to pay off my loan here, so that we can actually have a little bit of expansion in our house for once in... A long time at least I can't remember the last time it was that we had a house upgrade um, so let's do that thank you and have a nice day I really need to go to the island but that was a, a good temporary solution I was also there depositing my letters in case you were wondering I already did that I didn't go in there and then just forget so no worries there but we can head back to Nook's homes for the first time Again, in a long time. Just gonna keep saying that, I guess. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, it's Patrick. Paid off every last bit. I'm quite conservative in matters of finance, but I knew you'd take care of this. He's, he's one of those, oh, I'm a social liberal, fiscal conservative. I can't. What did I just say? A social conserv. No, social liberal, fiscal conservative. One of those people. That says they're social liberal anyways. All right, um, or at least increasing your storage capacity with a secret storeroom. Um, I think I am going to do um, the secret storeroom um, because I, I, that was what I was talking about earlier with the, uh, the space, 158. It's a lot of money for, for that, but oh well. Uh, that does unlock something else, which is actually really useful, so I think it's worth doing, and it's probably better to do it now than later. Alright, I think I'm going to head to Abel's Sisters and switch up my look. I'm, I'm thinking my, my, my vibes are off with my clothing right now, so let me, uh, let me check this out. Hello, hello. With the MVP shirt. I do kind of like the blue. Um, you guys know Pride Month ended, right? Pfft. Can't sell shit with rainbows on it outside of Pride Month. 
I do kind of like this shirt though. I'll buy that. And then these are actually something that I wear a lot in the uh, in the fall and winter. But I guess I could. You know what? I'll I'll just buy them so I have them. Um, do that. And perfect. All right. I'll see if I can switch up the pink hat. Not that I hate the pink hat, but ooh, could go for the the sultan look or. But yeah, what are we gonna call this? Turban. <laughs> oh, a genie. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna pass. This uh, this this is like a boater hat. Straw boater. Yeah. Let's try that on. Hell yeah! I'm gonna get like a. What was that 19 like 30s 20s outfit? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that ensemble together. It'll be my summer outfit. All right, well that's nice. Um, I think, uh, okay, I need to go get, I didn't go to, well I did go to the museum, but I didn't, I turned right around because I realized that uh, we still have our thing from Red in our mailbox, so I wanted to go get that. Oh, well, that was a lucky find. <laughs> Good thing I didn't go to the... Well, I'd still probably go back even just for the painting, but... Whatever. I also got another gyroid that I can put up there, so that's nice. Let me go grab that letter. Rocco's up here. He was on the title screen, and he was actually on the title screen the last time, too. Oh, Patrick, it's been a while since I've seen you. You haven't been hiding from me or doing something fun all by yourself, right? Do hippos like rain? I know they, like, they they cool themselves off in, um, like, mud baths, I think. But Main Street always makes me really happy. Hooray for shopping, hippie. Well, Main Street has certainly come a long way. It hasn't... We're still missing a few shops, but we're certainly a lot livelier than it was when... When I first came to town. Alright. Let us talk to Blathers again. I'm guessing, probably, since we already had one fossil that was new. We're not going to get another, but I'd still like to find out. And if not, then at least we can sell them. And I'll get a little bit more money. Oh, lucky day. Two new fossils. Hell yeah. Potentially three. Oh no, because he didn't say both of them were, so just two. But still, I'll take that. Uh, we got the Pachysaurus skull and the Diplodocus tail. The Diplodocus, I think, is the really big one. Um, I think that's what it's called, Diplodocus. It just said Diplo, so anyways, let's go. Uh, let's go check that out. Also, I was wrong. It was not a painting. It was a statue, but whatever. Uh, yeah, still missing a fair amount in this room. Four, five, six? No. Are you the patchy source? Yes. So we just completed that one today. So we're missing five in here, which is not a lot. I know I do this a lot, but I always like going through my museum, spe specifically my fossils when, uh, when we're getting close. I think this is the Diplodocus. Yes. Um, so we got this today, which is cool. Missing two more pieces on that. The, uh, I don't know, the abdomen and the, or is that the, I don't know. Thorax is a bug term. I remember in second grade we had to do a head, shoulders, knees and toes, but it was like head, shoulders, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Uh, or no, was, no, there's no shoulders. It was just head, thorax, abdomen. But anyways, that was in our bug unit. Oh, isn't elementary school science shit just like so fun? Okay, we're missing five in this room. I think we're only missing like one or two in this one. This room has come a long way. Yes, we are only missing the torso of the Megacero. So... Or me, me, it's something, something like that. Anyways, uh, I did also want to go into the uh, fish section because we donated a, donated a lot of the uh, 
well, not a lot, but we donated a number of the diving creatures, which also go in here. And if you're thinking, man, I'm catching a lot of fish, but this room in here still looks pretty bare. It's because a lot of this stuff is uh, the diving creatures in here. Oh, you can see the octopus in there, hiding out by some pots there. Um, these tanks, it still looks pretty empty in here, I'm not gonna lie, but it looks more full. Um, so that's nice. I don't know the last time we went through the fish one, so we'll do that. I like going through the museum. I think some people probably think it's tedious, but I like looking at all the stuff I've collected. I do have to say, I think I've said it before, but the museum in New Horizons blows this one out of the water. It's so cool. I'd love to visit a museum like that. A lot more fishies in here. I think there might be some diving stuff in here too. Oh, well, maybe not. This just looks like a lot of river fish kind of stuff. There's a smaller river fish in there. Again, you can uh, if you look at the, if you check the plaques, you can read a little bit a uh, little bit about each of the the things in there, which is cool. But yeah, all right. Um, I think I'm gonna go, this is actually, I recorded a lot longer than I thought I was going to. It is, almost is four o'clock, so I could have gone to, and taken a kitty up on her request, but oh well. Uh, I'm gonna go put this gyroid in here and I think we'll say goodbye in, uh, in this room uh, today. So yeah, mini puffoid. And it's like a, like a little poof, like a little poof. Anyways, all right. Thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, I thought I could get a different angle, but I guess we'll go with this one. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.